Hey there. Are you frustrated seeing the error message operating system not presently configured to run this application? You got this when trying to run any application on your PC. Don't worry, we've got you covered with 7 workable troubleshooting guide to help you fix the issue. And you know what? The final method works the best most of the times, but it's good you perform the other methods before going for the final method. So, make sure you stick to the end and don't skip any part of this video. And before we kick in, please subscribe, like, comment, and share this video to help many others. That's the only motivation you give me to continue making helpful videos like this. Let's get started. Sometimes, this error occurs when the operating system lacks certain updates. To fix it, we need to ensure that your operating system is up to date. Go to Settings, click on Updates and Security. Check for any available updates in your system settings and install them. If this doesn't fix your issue, move to the next method. Another common cause of this error is incompatible software. Make sure that the application you're trying to run is compatible with your operating system. You can check the application system requirements on their official website or contact the software developer for assistance. Still doesn't fix the problem, then let's get to the next method. If the error persists, it's possible that your system files have become corrupted. To fix this, we'll run a system file checker. Type CMD on Windows Search, then open the command prompt as an administrator. Type SFC or a scanner followed by the Enter key. This will scan and automatically repair any corrupted system files. Move to next method if you still face the problem. In some cases, the error may be due to a conflict with other applications or services running on your computer. To troubleshoot this, try performing a clean boot. Disable all startup programs and non-Microsoft services using the Task Manager or System Configuration Utility. To do this, type Task Manager on your Windows Search and open it. Select and end all non-Microsoft apps. Restart your computer and check if the error still appears. If it still appears, then move to the next method. If the problem persists, it might be due to a misconfigured or outdated driver. Visit your computer manufacturer's website or the official website of the component causing the error. Download and install the latest driver for your specific operating system, ensuring compatibility. Still got the same issue. Let's perform the last two methods. If none of these methods solve the problem, you may need to consider reinstalling the application or contacting its support team for further assistance. To uninstall a program, right-click on the Start menu and select Applications and Features. Right-click the affected program and click on Uninstall. And if this doesn't fix your problem, I'm sure the final method will help you. And finally, this method works always most of the time for me. In this method, we will have to address any potential conflicts or errors within the operating system. To do this, open the control panel and navigate to Programs and Features. Select the application causing the issue and choose the Repair or Modify option to fix any corrupted files or settings. This will make Windows download the missing files online that is causing the error and get the app back working again for you. That's it, we've covered some common solutions to fix the operating system not presently configured to run this application error. We hope this troubleshooting guide has been helpful to you. Thanks for watching this video if you found it useful. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more helpful tutorials and troubleshooting guides.